<clears throat> the problem with salespeople is that there's a conflict of interest, always. Especially when it comes down to someone trying to convince you to do something. And I'm not saying that everyone is trying, or every salesperson is trying to convince you, or someone you know, or just anyone, to do something that they really don't want to do. It would make better sense, and it would sound nicer, if you spin it off like this. The salesperson is just opening up some new ideas of what you already thought about, but just reinforcing those original ideas enough for you to pull the plug, make a decision, yes or no. And you could say it's like positive support. You could say it's it's like some positive feedback or some just some friendly support, right? But essentially it means that they know something that you don't know and that could that could make some people upset. Especially those that want to have everyone think that they know everything. And so whenever you're buying something, the, the reason why you have not made a decision yet is because you're uncertain about the product or service. This could be my service, this could be anyone's service. And so here on this channel, we talk about credit repair. And we talk about repairing people's credit. What does that mean? What is repairing someone's credit? Why does someone need to hire some person to repair remarks on a report. And I'm not gonna go about the importance of all the things that you can get with credit and try to sell you on that. Because that seems to be the, the big thing now is that a lot of people on YouTube, <clears throat> and this goes for many industries, how they're selling things is by flashing off what you can get if you buy their product, if you do that. But that's just the dance. That's just the circus. There's a circus going high, uh, going on. There's a circus going on. And behind the curtains, when you pull the curtains, you see the reality and the fakeness and the truth and the realness of every scheme, every organization, every company, behind the scenes. Every salesperson that's trying to sell something is just trying to hit a quota, trying to sign you up, okay? trying to get that commission. Their motivation is to take your money. They don't know you personally, okay? When was the last time you called someone or you, you called to buy a product online or went to a store and they cared about you? They don't know you enough to care. They, the only person they know is their self and their reputation and their commission and their paycheck because the more you sign up with their product, it betters their life. Some people might be jealous of that and hate people, like people that are more successful than them. There are a certain slew, a certain demographic or subset of people that will basically hate on those no matter what and just call those people a scam artist and say they cheat you and, and everything. And it's funny because those types of people that are trying to spread awareness to anyone they're really not because if you really were truly an enlightened person and aware how could you be scammed in the first place and so what it is is a ploy for someone to cry wolf you know that story to cry wolf do you know what it means to cry wolf it means there was a shepherd he's you know leading all the all the sheep and then he would cry pretending there's a wolf and scare everyone you know he did it a couple times and then people start stop believing him. And that's basically what's happening between consumers and service providers and people that provide products, okay? Buyers and sellers, both. One and the same archetype psychological categories and the same biases of decision making. So what happens when you take someone that is susceptible to their own confirmations and their own biases, and you take the same person that's trying to sell them something with the same types of problems. They're gonna clash, right? They're gonna, there's gonna be a fight. 
And then the end result of that discussion would be that one or the other believes that they got a better deal than the other person was, you know, offering. And so there are a group of people that need to feel special. They need to know they got a good deal, right? You got to be careful of those people that always try to weasel their way through life and try to get something better than everyone else. Well, let me tell you something. When, when you feel that you are special and you are entitled to get something, anything, what you're saying is when you get a discount and a product of price, uh, of, of a product or service, you're basically saying that you're better than everyone else. And all the people after you and before you don't deserve what you have.